Hi guys, my name is Frances and today I'm really excited to introduce you to Tubix. Tubix is a cloud-based software uh, SEO tool that could help grow your channel and increase your views and provide wonderful suggestions. So let's get started. I'm on the main page of Tubix. As you can see, you could sign up free with a Google account or you could also request for a demo. They have great customer service. So you could always even um, go into the little chat and have it, if you have any questions, put it down there. So it's packed with lots of features to help you um, be on the right track. So there's a YouTube tag generator. Um, it's at real-time content analysis. It has a keyboard ranking, and you could also update your professional thumbnails, and it allows you to have teammates. So let's dive right into the dashboard. So once you're in Tubic, you would, uh, I have already connected, so this is my account name, and you would go into uh, subscription. And once you go into subscription, you could see all the plans that it has. So you have monthly pants where you have pro is uh, $20 and that's for um, two channels with 50 and then five channels for uh, agency has unlimited videos and 200 track words. So I have good news for you. I definitely recommend buying um, this deal on AppSumo where you only have a one time payment and you get the same benefits um, as a subscription. So here, if you're starting off, I I would personally choose the $78 because if you're trying to grow your channels, you don't want to be limited to uh, 50. You want to be able to optimize unlimited videos. And I think with all the features that Tubic has, this is really, really well worth it. Um, it's well worth the investment. And if you have an agency or um, larger, you know, team then this is this might be the right one for you where you could stack up your codes to from three which is 117 and you have all the plans here in addition you have 10 youtube channels so the difference is that you have more users and you have 250 keywords so as you scroll down you can stack the codes and anytime i buy something i would always look at the review and there's also a tab for questions and Tubix has great reviews. And I'm gonna um, give you my personal view of Tubix. So let's get right into the dashboard. So once you reach the dashboard and once you connected your site, you have a little report card, which is a channel audit. And like a report card, I got 55 out of 100, which I'm not too surprised because um, I recently started reviewing videos. I had YouTube for a while, but I never used it. You know, I use it for personal, um, but now I'm trying to grow my channel and I can see that I have 12 public videos and my views and subscribers. And I could come down here and look at my traffic too, see where everyone's coming from. And this is really important to know. So you could um, tailor your content and your promotion strategy and your plan. As you can see here, I was not very active or not active at all. Let's see. You can see it's zero zero and i recently started this week so now it's it's moving up a little bit you can see my youtube search um youtube subscribers external where are people coming from um right here let's see and then over over here how, you know, how did my ranking change? You can see how I improve, you know, as time goes on. Um, and then right when you go into your video, you could start to optimize and improve your score. I've already done that for my videos, which you can see, it will tell you that I've optimized, but there's always room for more improvement. Let's say um, I select social status right here. So once I go into social status, I can look and find similar keywords. Uh, social status is a video rendering application. So I'm going to type in video rendering and I'll see what comes up. And over here you have a focus keyword is your main keyword from the focus keyword. Everything's uh, everything else should generate from that. And as you can see, there's different variations of video rendering. Now I used to design websites. And I know people 
when they use a search term, they use different variations of it. Like, let's say you have pandas. There's some people that are very formal and they might type in giant panda. So you want to reach everyone. And some people might just type in panda and a panda with an S. And there's also people with typos. So you want to include all those terms so it would help increase your ranking. And this does it for you. It gives you different variations of what I can use. It, you know, cuts down the time that I have to think about this. And back in the days, if I was trying to find the keywords, I would have to manually go into Google and manually search for a different website and go into their codes and look at the top site and see what codes they're using and apply, you know, the same strategy and hopefully I'll be successful. So without Tubix, I can imagine me having to do this with going to the YouTube search and finding out different types of reviews similar to mine that does lifetime software. And then I would have to analyze their keywords and match it up. But here I have all the suggestions. So it cuts out all the manual work and I could actually add it in here. Let's say I took, for example, video, ah, misspell, video rendering mm, apps. And then it could insert, I'm just gonna do one just to show you. And it added right in here. So this is amazing. Um, I mean, there's always analytic tools, but the part that I find lacking of most analytic, not most, but some analytic tool is that, you know, you get a bunch of data thrown at you, you, you know, like how many visitors, what's the balance rate, all this stuff, but you don't understand, you know, what you can do. You have to research that part like, well, okay, so how can I prove it? Not only this tells you, you know, what, what you can improve on, you can actually go in and it's built in and you could actually improve it right in this platform. Um, you could actually update your description right in here without having to log into YouTube. So if I went here and I went to next, oh, let's look on, let's look down here first. So it tells me that my focus keyword, which is this on top social status should mirror the content of my video. Often one word is, uh, one word is not enough. So I think it wants me to add more, more words in here. Like I could actually drag this up here and make that my focus keyword. And it says that um, the keyword contains less than the recommended 250 characters. Use the space to give the search engine some hints what your video is about. So this is awesome because if I'm new and I'm starting on my YouTube channel, I wouldn't know this. This is a great tip. And doing these little things could probably take you far. And it says that I've used it once. Make sure that I'm very clear, you know, if the um, the word's relevant. So let's click on next and see where it takes me. So it takes me right into my video. And then the video title does not contain the focus, the focus keyword. So I think it wants me to say automatic. Um, let's say if I change it to video rendering. Rendering tool. Let's see if it changes. I'm just trying to see. The focus keyword doesn't appear, so then it wants me to add this in my paragraph. The video title contains more than recommended. So you could play around, it tells you the video title contains more than recommended 70. So it's saying that I'm too, it's too long. So I'm gonna put this out and reporting tool, review my review and demo. Um, let's see, if I save that improved. I don't know, okay, folks doesn't appear. So I can go back and fix this here, the video title. And once I do that, this should be going away so I'll work on that later. And what else is wonderful about this is that I can update my thumbnail in here. Um, I made a video yesterday and I had to type on my graphics and I was very thankful that I was just able to go in here and upload and just simply replace and then select publish. 
So once it published, it syncs with uh, YouTube. So let me go back into here. So overall, I think this this is an awesome tool. Um, like I said, it really cuts your time in half. It um, leads you to the right path. It analyzed all your work, um, your data, and you have it live. And you also have team management where you could have different people come in and optimize your video if you're really busy, if you have a channel with like um, thousands of videos, that would be very useful. So it's not just for small time YouTubers who needs to be pointed in the right direction. It's also for people who have large channel. And what I would love to see about Tubic in the future is that um, the ability to be able to separate my work channel versus my personal channel, because if I have two team members, I don't really want them to be able to go in and um, see edit my um, personal channel. I just want them to be able to see the work channel. And I did email Tubic and they have very good customer service. They told me that that's on the roadmap in the future. So I'm really looking forward to it. Tubic is a fairly new um, company, but they're doing really great things, have great reviews. And, you know, there's a roadmap of um, lots of new ideas and lots of new features. I'm really, really excited to be able to buy this at such a low price and not have like a monthly subscription. So let me know what your thoughts are on Tubic and, you know, and how it could help you. And I hope you enjoy this review. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll, link, I'll list a link below for you to purchase this. Thank you. Have a great day.